Yep, there we go. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Yep. Makoto. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. We actually have some dialogue here to speak out. Oh, oh. Amy, if I'm not sure, it's you. That's why you won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? <gasps> oh my god, Kyoko, please. Not in front of Makoto. Huh? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? What? Come see me in my room. I have the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Check the nameplate to make come, sure you're doing come see the room wrong. <laughs> Actually, no, at this point it would be like PS3 or PS4, wouldn't it? Yeah. But oh, do I hear him? Is he coming? No, that's not him. Damn it. Come here. Up here. Come here. Up here, girl. Good girl. Yes. Doggy, uh, doggy, doggy, doggy. Ooh, nice. Going very fast now. Uh, but yeah. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. Also, I am very sorry that um, I'm kind of proceeding this case pretty uh, class trial uh, pretty slowly. Um, if we did have Vokun here, we would have blazed through it, like, yeah. right now. We'd probably be done with the case, or at least reaching like the very final point to it. And these are the words that appear. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Also, isn't it like technically kind of hard to do? What? Um, the whole uh, rubbing the graphite or the or lead or something on the uh, next p uh, sheet of paper. Yeah. Because you have to like yeah. write down really hard to make an impression on the next paper, right? Yeah. That's just uh, fucking. I don't know how the fuck you did it, but okay. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, "Holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on." It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Also, there's a little bit impractical and not actually a thing, you know. What happened? Google crashed on me. Oh, I'm sorry, Rage. Um, basically, we're still kind of figuring out who done it. Um, we're finally on to the class trial. Um, at this point, we um, discovered, the, or not discovered, but we debated that um, it really isn't possible for Makoto to kill um, Sayaka um, through evidence of um, the lint roller and the uh, door knob that had to be uh, removed in order to open it because the killer did not know that um, it wasn't actually a locked d uh, door just like um, Sayaka's door is because the fooler, uh, the killer was fooled um, into thinking that it was um, Sayaka's room and not Makoto's. Still on it. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Oh, that's even that's yeah. even like, yeah. Huh? Which means only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there. Or Sayaka, who switched rooms for a single night. 
So, Makoto, did you write this? No. No, I didn't. But of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Then, that note... Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? Of course, it's like, as if... If I wrote Sayaka's name, then I'm Sayaka. <laughs> the note was like I'm Sayaka, don't worry about it, right? With a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? Oh, can we just hear that again? That actually sounded terrible. Oh, I wish we could like just listen to that line itself. That was actually kind of terrible. Uh. <sighs> but I was like, but can we be sure anyone even got this note? Or it was like something that bad. I was like, oh. And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Okay, that's a bit better. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? No. Very well then. Pay attention. Burn the witch. <laughs> Darn me, plates. <laughs> okay. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says my room. Yes. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. Yes. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Mm. It certainly would seem that way. Okay, yeah, now I know what I need to do. I uh, went to my room and not Sayaka because he's fine with the note said. Yeah. Must be because. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says my room. <laughs> I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. Room. Nope. Wrong, 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 you're wrong. The nameplates on my and Sayaka's rooms got switched. What, 2DS doesn't, don't affect Val? <laughs> what? I don't know what Ray just said here, what 2Ds don't affect Val. Huh. I don't get, I don't get that, what that means. Exactly. Val, ask him. What? I don't have no clue what he's asking. <laughs> oh, is he back? Or... Huh? It says he's... Okay, maybe not. It says he's online. Face palms, boobs, you bonobo. I'm no. Oh, clue. he's saying that boobs don't affect you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two D girls. Yeah, derp. Oh, would I want? They got switched. Yes, girl. Fucking look at the doors next time. That's right. The nameplate got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in... Did the cat gag was there? actually marked as her room. Uh, what? The cat had a little issue on the floor. Uh. Then... 
If someone did do what the knight said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Right. Okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The killer. <laughs> no. Yeah. It was me! Twas I! No, it was Sayaka. I got it! It was mine. Sayaka yeah. were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. It was I, Sayaka. Uh. So the only other person besides I me know. would even know to switch the nameplates. No, my bad, that was a bad Sayaka. joke. No, that's fine, Rage. You can also infer as much from her note. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't what? get the wrong room, okay? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. <clears throat> she would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? Shit. She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, <clears throat> and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. Okay, hold on. We I need figured to turn it back out. because we my know who shit. did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. Wait, you got shit going on? Okay, and he left already. Damn. Ah, uh, that's great. They're both leaving me. Why are they leaving me? Why am I forever here alone, trying to do this thing that I already know how to do? Uh God damn it. But we still don't know who oh, wait. it is. Are you back? Damn idiot. Oh, never mind. It's <clears throat> Duffin. What was it? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. By the way, I'm back. Welcome back. No, I'm saying uh, back to the room. From you. Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room. Yes. Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? <clears throat> that reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend what are we, myself. Wait, what are we reading? Oh, wait, no. It's still going. Well, my bad. Seems Just my fucking internet decides. You know what? My Sayaka's internet decides. Right you, you, can go, you can go F yourself. <laughs> How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken on the fake sword was... I got it! All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittering there. See? Is... is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. And I like how Hagakure actually sounds like not Jamaican or anything at all. He's actually kind of like yeah. a pretty like, not like stern, but like a mature voice. Uh, yeah. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Alright, I think this is now when they're going to give me multiple bullets. Should have asked for child support before they left you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus.